What's going on YouTube? GSNorate here. So in today's video we're discussing about the status of the A12 and A13 iOS 13.3, 13.2, 13.1, 13.0 jailbreak and also we have some news about the Untether we talked about a couple of videos ago so stay tuned. Now many of you asked me what is the current status of the A12 and A13 jailbreak because you've been hearing quite a lot about the check rain and checkmate but this is a jailbreak only for the iPhone 10 and lower. So what about the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, 10R, iPhone 11 and so on because as you probably know the check rain jailbreak does support iOS 13.3, 13.2.3, 13.2 and so on but not on the A12 and A13 devices and as you probably know there is currently no jailbreak available so what exactly is going on? Well if you remember back in December Pound to Own posted this quote if you're on A12 or A13 stay if you're already jailbroken, stay if you're on 13.2.3 or lower and downgrade to 13.2.3 if you're on 13.3. I will get to it as soon as a new kernel exploit is available. Be patient and do not update and stay on the lowest version possible. Now this is actually still holding true to this point on January 4 because we still have iOS 13.3 as the latest version available and it's still not a good idea to update to 13.3 especially if you have an iPhone XS, XS Max, XR or iPhone 11 because iOS 13.3 does patch a lot of bugs and unfortunately we do not have any TFP0 kernel exploit for the moment. However, Pontoon says you should downgrade to 13.2.3 if you have iOS 13.3. Unfortunately, at this point it's no longer possible because iOS 13.2.3 has stopped being signed. Now why is that version important? Well if you remember there have been multiple kernel exploits announced and even Sparky has one which is apparently for the iOS 13.3 however this has not been released yet. But he said in here hacked and he posted this picture in here basically proving the fact that he has the FP0 and he also got root access in there and of course he posted it on 13.3 A13 and of course it would work on A12 as well. However this bug has not been released so we still don't have any kernel exploit so updating the 13.3 and waiting for that exploit is a very bad idea. So if you do have an A12 or A13 do not update. 13.2.3 is actually a very good version to stay on because there have been multiple kernel exploits announced and many of them have been patched in iOS 13.3 because if you take a look on the iOS 13.3 change log it actually does patch a lot of things so staying on 13.2.3 is actually a very good idea and even lower it's actually good now i know many of you will tell me well there will never be a jailbreak again for the a12 or a13 people are only focusing on the checkmate nowadays or check rain and they're only focusing on older devices and so on well that's not true and the reason that's not true is because we still don't have a tfp0 exploit there is nothing to do for the moment for a12 and a13 but once we get that as pont to own setting here here, he will get to work immediately so no he didn't ditch the jailbreak community he didn't ditch uncover but there's just nothing to do for the moment because no exploit is available yes there are a couple of them that have been announced for example this one by sparky but they haven't been released so until we get a release there's nothing we can do but yeah people saying that a12 and a13 jailbreaks will not come are definitely wrong now for those of you who remember there has been an untether released by Zerob for ios 11 and well, I talked to him and I asked him whether this can indeed be ported to iOS 13 and I got a reply. Apparently it can and it's actually compatible, the Untether itself would be compatible with iOS 13 and it will only be patched in the later versions of iOS 13. However, it cannot be used for the moment because the ASLR bug is not compatible with iOS 13. Apple did some changes which made the ASLR bug actually very very unreliable down to only like 10% reliable which means that the bug is mostly useless and the exploit cannot be used. But yeah, the Untether itself, the raccoon bug which is this one in here explained in the uh, Acorn project page in here, it's actually compatible with iOS 13. So the untether itself would be compatible if we had a proper ASLR bug but unfortunately that part of it the ASLR bug is not fully compatible because Apple changed a couple of things making it very very flaky and of course pretty useless on that version and according to the response I got from Zerob it's actually the same for the iOS 12. The same thing is the problem in there the ASLR bug it's the same problem that it's actually very unreliable down to 10% or so but the raccoon bug which is basically a very important part of the untether 
can be used. So I wonder if we can actually swap the ASLR bug with another one that we may find and use the raccoon bug. That would probably be possible and that way we might be able to achieve an untethered jailbreak even on iOS 12 and iOS 13. So yeah, it's not fully patched in iOS 13 or iOS 12 and the raccoon bug, which is part of the uh, core of the actual untether, is actually not patched at all. So this is actually quite good. Anyways, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget that if you need jailbreak help, you can check out our jailbreak forum here where I answer your questions related to jailbreak and downgrades. Thank you for watching again. I'm GeoSnow and till the next time, do not update your A12 or A13 to 13.3. Peace out.